Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste oh. hasn't changed. Oh god, is this the uh, sex toy from like a while back? Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. God. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But yeah. What don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Oh, hell yeah. I want to fight. Grant, tell me when you're ready. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I got a win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. No. Listen. If I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Fight! Maybe I can put in a good word. Something. That guy's riding really fast. The Outlanders won! Erica, wait! Let her go. You've still grim to face. A worthy foe. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Duty calls. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> You know, I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krak wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. The hell? Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Mm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter Ceres. Follow me, please. You've seated us here. I asked them too. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Ordog. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Autric on Hindar. Jeez. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. 
Sarison Prate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Saris is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Grant about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Galmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, I just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Ah, yeah, sure. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! Cool. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Oh, we're running? Okay. This is cool. Well, it's different, at least. <laughs> the hell is this? Oh, okay. Hurry it up, old man! Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. I thought it was a horse race. <laughs> I guess not. Show me what you've got, Monster Slayer. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. I could have let her win, right? See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a Witcher Sparrowhawk. It'll likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond here. 